This area covered in survey pegs is known as Los Bajos. It's a small part of a larger proposed expansion to the Holchan Marine Reserve. Fisheries Administrator Beverly Wade says they got involved because of advocacy to bring focus management and protection to the area. Wade says the people of San Pedro were concerned because of the traditional, ecological, economic and touristic value of the lagoon and wetlands. The Fisheries Department was approached and given a formal mandate by the Ministry to develop a plan for the protection of those sensitive ecosystems. What it led to was a proposal for what we refer to as the whole chain expansion and it really included not only the, the lagoon and the wetland areas um, in the Matachica area, but it also included the Kaya Frances Lagoon, the associated reef adjacent to that area, which is referred to locally as Mexico Rocks. And on the western side, it included um, what we refer to as Bajos, which are shoals, some areas, which is, if you look at it, it's like open sea, <laughs> but it's pretty shallow water that is important for the tourism sector. It's also important um, in terms of its ecological function in providing nursery areas and critical habitats for certain species. A management plan was developed along with draft legislation and forwarded to the Ministry to be considered by Cabinet for endorsement of the designation of the area. That's where it has been for the past three years. We also um, applied for a PAP grant to assist in the um, implementation of management on the ground. And so that grant was granted to us. However, we haven't received the endorsement, um, the formal endorsement for the designation yet. And so PACT um, administratively has said they would have to rescind the grant because the grants are given for a certain time frame for implementation. In the event that Cabinet does give its endorsement, PACT would be willing to consider an application for another grant. But that endorsement seems a little unlikely with the subdivision in full effect in the area known as Los Bajos. There is nothing the Fisheries Department can do at this point. But the Department is convinced of the validity and necessity of the request made to Cabinet. Wade says they wouldn't have signed on otherwise. There is an ecological um, function and there is a certain level of connectivity which exists between each of those ecosystems, between the shoals on the western side, the lagoon, the lagoonal wetlands and of course the reef systems. Um, and yes, um, these areas naturally are, they form these nursery areas and so what they have on these areas are a lot of juvenile fish which attracts some of the best um, fly fishing, sports fishing species um, like your, um, your bonefish, your tarpons and permits and so it's the shoals are an especially important area for the, um, the tourism sector. With all that said, the reality is that the island is growing and there is the need for land. That need for land over the years has created slum communities on the island where people live in extreme poverty without even basic necessities. Taking into account the fact that the land being given out is covered by three feet of water, San Pedro resident Jose Arceo says there is the need for proper planning of any new subdivision proposed. There are areas here that were kind of like a swamp land where they're giving off lots. To, to this date, 12, 15 years, still don't have power or sewage or a road to get to, the, to, the, to where the people are living. Now to start another one with no kind of infrastructure doesn't make to me any sense. Open up the north and give the people the good land. Development in that area is a pretty, it's not a straightforward um, issue. The bottom, the issue of availability of land for future expansion of San Pedro is one that has to be taken into consideration. And so there are national lands in that area um, that are looked at for future expansion of San Pedro. It's just, um, it's hoped that when expansion does happen in that area that the, the characteristics of that area is taken into consideration if you're not going to subdivide it for whatever development you're looking at. 
News 5 has confirmed that the subdivision is being handled directly through the office of Belize Rural South Area Representative Manuel Heredia and not through the San Pedro Town Council. Mike Rodon for News 5.